what is up everybody carrie got herself a new kayak we'll talk about it in a different video but her kayak has a fancy rudder on the back and after i watched her getting blown around in the wind or staying stationary in the wind and watching myself my vibe get blown around in the wind i decided hey the vibe yellow fin 120 comes pre-rigged for a rudder you just gotta buy it and they're on sale so why not take advantage and so on today's episode of in the garage we're going to get close to finalizing the upgrade process. So take the foot pegs off, flip them upside down, set them up the opposite direction. That's what we're going to do right now. So now we have them on here ourselves. So, and some feet over here. Let's take these clips and somehow, just like that. This guy goes in here. that so now we're going to get our steering cables and run them through the back of the boat hopefully these are cut to length we'll find out so take your lines and we're going to run them through here both end it's already pre hooked up i do have my transducer cable going in front of this hole that's all right so we'll this hole. gently 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 so how this pin works is you literally just flip them over, almost like a hand grenade. So we have our washer, seat the new Vibe rudder into the proper seat. We're going to simply replace the pin, flip it, it's locked in place. And now all we have to do is reapply the steering strings to the new rudder. Step one, you've got to get some tape. The proper way to do these lines is you have to tape the pedals in almost a neutral position. We're gonna put tape on the back. We're gonna go basically where the top add-on pedal is right above the original pedal. So it's nice and straight. So that we can actually just clip the end into the pliers so I can pull through that way. So we're actually gonna wrap the line around the rope and the tip of the needle nose pliers, like so. And I can open up the pliers a little bit, grab the line, like so, and then try to pull it through and making our barrel knot as tight as we can get it. Now I'm gonna take the extra and wrap around tight again. Probably cut some off since I have so much, but I hate to lose. I need as much slack as I possibly get. So we're gonna wrap this around twice. Grab our friend the needle nose pliers. Wrap once. Because we have so much extra line, we get more than one wrap. Twice. Bring this guy all the way back. Tie it off. There's still a little play in there, but you don't want it super tight because you'll just break things. Okay, last step now is our stow line. Run this guy through. Can I stub that? Not through a second time. Might try to do like a little generic barrel nut on that. I am now supposed to pull on this. Only two pounds. She looks bigger than that, but we'll take it. Whether your day spent in a garage, in a field, in an office, or in a kayak, 1791 Everyday Carry has something to make your carry more comfortable. The 
rudder helps cement the tubes. Helps you squeeze in between water obstructions. I'm trying to get the new areas. Now, one of the other advantages to having a pedal, a rudder, I should say, on your kayak is it makes it a lot easier when you're trying to get into a spot and get your bait out of the tree or unsnag. Before I had my rudder, I'd have to sit here and really fine tune my kayak with my paddle. Now it's not too much of an issue. I really just fine, just fine tune my rudder to get in and out of there. There's got to be a gar. He's beating the shit out of this thing. Finally got it. Yeah, they're going crazy on top water. That's another nice fish. Look at this. Another nice fish. Thank you, dude. Get out here. Are you out in the open? Yep. Out in the open. About 20 yards off the bank. One point eight five. So all my fish have been almost two pounds or bigger tonight. I just had one hit on it, but it's right at the tip of my boat. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just got another one. Keeping the pressure on him. I don't want him to jump and get off. Another nice fish. Almost looks like the same damn fish. Nope, this one's smaller, a little lighter. Okay, okay, that'll work. That'll work. Hold tight. Got yourself off. Here's another one. Thank you, dude. Yep, splash me on the way up. Fish. He's a nice one. We don't want him jumping, though. He's too big. If he jumps again, I'll probably lose him. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got a nice one. About time. Hopefully you guys saw that. Don't jump. Don't jump. He's going to jump again. Don't jump. Another nice fish. Another nice fish on top water. And now he's stuck on a lily pad. There we go. Got him off. Another nice fish. This guy. Don't jump off. Don't get up. Get down here. Get down here. Another nice fish. Woo! Been out here all night. Another nice fish. That's one fat boy. You didn't remember yourself, did you? Weigh her. We're gonna weigh her. She's a nice fish. Look at that. We'll take you guys.
Yep, 2.6. Another nice fish. Thank you, girl. He's trying to. Don't lose him, don't lose him. Oh, he's a nice fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get in my fucking boat. Yes! I was telling you, I was telling the GoPro, I want a bigger fish, I'm gonna catch her with a bigger bait. Yes! Come get your camera, I need a picture of this. Top water. Thank you. I need a picture. Well, here. What do you think? Three pounds? Huh? Bye, girl. Everybody see it? I'm going into the tree, so I gotta let her go. Well, if you stuck around this long in the video, you must have some interest in the Vibe rudder system. As I pointed out before, yes, the rudder helps you steer, but more importantly to me, the rudder acts kind of as a miniature keel, so when you're standing up on it, it may be a placebo effect, but once again, it makes me feel more comfortable. It definitely does help my kayak plane in a straighter line. And as you saw earlier, what I've gotten accustomed to doing, as your boat starts to maybe go with the current or perhaps the wind's blowing, thus turning you into a sail on a sailboat, you can bend down if you want the boat to go to the right, you can pull the left rudder back, push the right rudder forward. So you can kind of now control your boat as you're standing up, as long as you feel comfortable bending down and manipulating the pedal. One of the tips I will give for the rudder system that I find personally helps me, as I'm pushing the right rudder forward, thus making my kayak plane to the right, I will take my left foot with my toes and kind of pull the left rudder system back as I'm feeding the other one forward. And by doing this double foot manipulation, I find it makes it a lot easier to use the rudder system and it takes pressure off of the tie points on the foot pedal system, which would be my only complaint if I had one is that the pedal systems where the lines tie into them were perhaps made from a thicker polymer to prevent cracking or stretching. So if you have a Vibe Yellowfin 120 or any other Vibe product for that matter that supports the rudder system, I do highly, highly recommend it. When it comes to upgrading your Vibe Yellowfin 120, I'm going to put the rudder system as upgrade number two, simply after the deck pad. So if you have a Vibe Yellowfin 120, you're looking to upgrade, start with the deck pads, move to the rudder system, and then as we'll discuss in the next video, go on to the hero seat. This has been a Digital 410 production. <laughs>